tofu garlic lasagna lamb filet like i already we already know what sells like there the, and then a caesar or a wedge option or something like i think it should be like a two salad option we're seeing 55. Mm -hmm. you're gonna get what a glass of champagne again champagne soup bread and soup salad entree dessert i just saw somebody do a menu and it was more than that they were charging way more because we, we are not three hours to do a super salad and an entree and a dessert like I can knock that out in 45 minutes right you know right. what I mean it all comes down to when dinner comes out and here we go hi can I get a medium iced latte with whole milk no sugar so have a great day thank you okay back on top like 70 30 that's how much she's 70 30 i'm serious you're laughing at me but you're not fucking listening you're not hearing me 70 30 70 30 that you just did that because i said 70 30. i could look i'm looking at it right now that's not 70 30. When I tell you, I turned into the Hulk. That's pretty bad. We had a funeral for bread. For me, it was one of the worst days of my life. I love food. And he you know? got it like via voicemail. <laughs> what is the message? You have celiac disease, bye. I begged my doctor to, to give me a, a test for it. And he's like, you do not have celiac disease. Begged and begged and begged. Finally gave me the test. Next day, uh, Michael, uh, yeah, you actually do have celiac disease. All right, bye. Uh -huh. well, the way we used to travel and go on vacation was restaurants first, place next, you know? We couldn't do that anymore. Now it's where they serve gluten-free food, you know? Like, I will go to somewhere and I'm like, do you have a, anything gluten-free? They're like, oh yeah, all of our salads are gluten-free. Or, yes, yeah, so you can get any burger, because we have a gluten-free bun. Like, how many burgers can I eat? Today is Friday. That's about it. <laughs> we are, we're busy. We're always busy. I have that uh, nacho in there, Josh. Two fries all day, one onion ring, one coleslaw. Hurt, hurt. Oh, my God. Walking in, wings, bone in, well done. What's wrong? Oh, what are you going to touch over here? What are you going to touch over here? It's not up yet. The bread ain't there. This is my area. Yeah. That's Tony to C, Door DoorDash. Tony C. Tony C. Tony C. Tony C. He's from Brooklyn. <laughs> Gabe, I've never been lower in my whole life. I went through the, my Great Depression. It was the worst time in my life. You have to understand, like, when you're building a business, you're trying to grow, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sitting here comfortable, like, living life on vacation, I'm growing, so it's, I'm always investing. And then they just shut off the fucking water. I got humbled, I got knocked right off my fucking horse. I got humbled. And I never really make the mistake, it's the same mistake twice. I always learn from the mistake and I always grow from it and get better. I would say it was the worst year of my life, but then after I got through it, 
it ended up being this is the best year of my life. You know, because when you're moving so fast, you don't have time to slow down. You don't have time to slow down and just look at everything that you're doing. You don't get to look at how you're treating people. You don't get to look at your business. You don't get to look at all the numbers that you want. So you're just moving at 100 miles. And in the restaurant business, everything is so quick. Everything is so fast. So you never get to just stop and look. And that, that's what happened. It forced us to stop and look at our business. And we saw some things that were ugly. You know, we saw some things that were bad. But we fixed it. We fixed a lot of it. We were able to fix a lot of it. And we have a better business today for it. When I owned uh, a pizza place, walking in, pierogi, spin dip for here. Owned a pizza place. My pizza guy taught me how to spin uh, dough. But then he spins everything. So then he taught me how to spin everything. So now it, it's such a habit when I'm standing here. Actually, I have a cramp in my middle finger right now. I gotta switch. Oh my god, it hurts. <laughs> Student and teacher. Yeah. The winner. Woo. Oh my god. I went on forever. I wasn't quitting. You know, people don't think that though. People don't look at it this way. They just complain and complain and complain and complain and complain. And if you do that, you don't, you're not moving forward. You know, you, like, it is real life. You can't think like, oh, I'm just gonna wait till it gets back to normal. This is it right now. Like, this is what it is. This is what you're going through. You're, you're in it. Live it.